So for those that don't know, this game does have a god mode cheat um, that works with every character. And we're going to be seeing a race of every different character playing god mode at the same time. Before we start, uh, if I remain to be correct on this, if this is still correct from last year's god mode race, uh, I believe the person with the biggest advantage will be our Spectre Runner, who is, I think, is it Jasper? Or did it, is it Apple? Or did you just not change the name from Apple? Okay, it is Apple. So Apple here is probably going to have the advantage of having the fastest category. Because, you know, there's a whole tower level that's not in does have to deal with the dreams, but that doesn't make up for the whole tower level that's being skipped by Apple. Meanwhile, Norcus and Mumu deal with similar level designs in the two in the in the shovel between Shovel Hope and Plague of Shadows. So we'll have to see how they play off of each other. Uh, Plague does have some cool stuff that Shovel Knight doesn't. However, Shovel Knight has actually a really consistent run and has stuff like the Propeller Dagger and Dust Knuckles. So. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this goes for all of them. They're all starting now. Due to animations, uh, Apple and Norcus are going to be the first two to play. And you can automatically see um, how they start going. Um, so God Mode, you have extremely fast speed. You have invincibility. Um, you have infinite magic. You have all of your special weapons immediately given to you. So you can kind of play around with how you wish. You saw Norcus there um, trying. He got rid of some dirt piles vertically with some with a fishing rod. But the main thing that Norcus is going to want to be using is obviously the propeller dagger to move him forward at a super fast speed. As for Plague Knight, along with Bursting, and the sometimes you see, in very rare cases, you might see the Fleet Blast. There are runners who try and use it more, but with Mumu, I'm not expecting too much. Uh, Norcus, by the way, was just able to do a bubble wrap in God Mode, which you can just kind of try and wing it like Mumu is. Um, for Plague Knight, there is a somewhat slow but consistent setup. Uh, and Apple just has different level designs. So Norcus is going to be spamming gears to kill Black Knight here. Uh, this and orbs is also a valid strategy. Uh, the thing that Norcus doesn't have, though, over the other two is that the other two have very easy ways to just break platforms quickly. Um, with Mumu having a huge big boom and Applesauce being able to detonate giant skeleton sentries. Which are going to be some of the most helpful things. Um, later, you're going to see New Game Plus um, for Spectre, which is going to use a great amount of the weapons to just kind of destroy bosses. And Apple's going to be able to do stuff like that. However, um, due to God Mode giving you like way more stuff can be on screen at once, uh, the kills will probably actually not be that as cool as New Game Plus because, or as NG Plus for Spectre, because you're kind of using the same strategy more often. Um, Mumu has a little bit of a detour here. Going to use a fish to instantly blow up that um, to get into the house without having to, you know, go to the backside. Norcus is in Pridemore, flying through Pridemore. Shovel can just fly through stuff like this. Apple is working on Explodatorium. And Mumu is about to enter Pridemore. Right, there we go. Something interesting, actually, you might see on Apple's screen, is that this code kind of gives you um, not the usual Spectre wall, wall running, but well in God Mode, Spectre Knight actually has the um, kind of Mega Man X wall jump code, which is a different code you can put on. And so it makes the walls a little bit weirder for God Mode. Meanwhile, there's nothing like that in the other two God Mode. Uh, Plague Knight or Norcus, rather, dealing with King Knight. That is Shovel. He's Shovel. You know, Mumu's working through the stage, 
Yeah, there's a use of the Fleet Flask. You really want to use that a lot. Apple absolutely destroying the Alchemister. Norcus heading into uh, Lich Yard. Apple's getting pretty close to Plague Knight, so we'll get to see another boss fight boss fight from Apple. But before that, we get a boss fight from Moo Moo. Um, Moo Moo's got a weird strategy for King Knight, uh, for sure. I am going to be running a different god mode category with Plague Knight later. So, Moo Moo's run is probably the one I know the most about. Norcus can use a gear there to just do that whole room, which is one of the best strats between all three god modes, in my opinion. Uh, the gear is surprisingly good for some stuff. Like, you saw the Black Knight kill, and I also mentioned that works like... Um, that can be used kind of like the orb, but the it does have different mechanics, so it can be better for some bosses. All right, but we'll see Norcus using anchors here because you can spam them. And going to finish up his world one. Applesauce is into uh, Lost City. Applesauce is just doing the stages, menuing from left to right, while the other two are just doing optimal map movements because nothing matters in this game. Uh, Norcus, though, this is where some Shovel of Hope time loss starts to set in. Norcus is going to have to do these dreams at the end of each world, um, which are still kind of set. Since you can't die in god mode, you do actually have to deal with these a bit. Uh, and this frog room is going to be pretty annoying for Moo. Just going to stand to the right side of the wall and spam big booms to get through. Um, one thing about big boom is that if you're directly hugging a wall and then you use it it'll like instantly detonate so the strategy a lot for a lot of plague is gonna just like hold against a wall and throw a big boom to break dirt blocks or anything of the sort and moo moo flying through the dark room about to get to specter knight apples making lost city look like well what he's gonna make every stage to look like beetle skip poggers I don't know if he's going to go for Lost Spaghetti, though. Nope. Using a lot of the Blood Lantern here, though, to just break stuff, which is really good. Again, every character has something they want to use to break stuff with. And going to get into Mole Knight. <laughs> oh, messed that strategy up a little bit. Use the Kronos Coin. The Kronos Coin slows down a lot. Like, a lot, a lot um in god mode so was going for a strategy to just absolutely layer damage onto mold knight there but didn't do it correctly nork is heading into the alchemister um orbs that's the agdq experience in about three seconds um so applesauce heading into their first dream they're gonna have this luan uh cannot go we like to say that we want Luan to go in Spectre, but I mean, Donovan also gotta go. Uh, Moo Moo into Explodatorium as well. Norcus is about to enter uh, Plague Knight. Has the coin ready. That was very nice. It doesn't matter what dream Luan has to go, because this is about Donovan going. Look at him. Uh, Applesauce leaving that dream. Moo Moo, I don't even know what you just did. Uh, but Applesauce is going to be heading to, uh, if I remember how it is, Iron Whale? Yes, okay. I'm trying to remember the level order in Spectre. So this is kind of one of those stages where you can't fall faster, so this is one of the slower paced ones. Of course, slower pace doesn't mean too much, because, you know, <laughs> god mode. Uh, but hey, we have almost everybody in the same level at the same time. Moo Moo just has to fight Shovel Knight now. Um, the kind of annoying thing about Shovel Knight is that 
because the bomb is kind of crazy, uh, Plague Knight in God Mode has kind of the pandemonium cloak type thing where your casting and stuff all constantly changes. You can't really consistently do a stun lock there, and if your fight's annoying, you might have you always have to deal with an I core and you might have to deal with a phase locket. On the refight, you usually see a phase locket, but I think actually in got in uh, the explodatorium fight, it doesn't happen. <laughs> Applesauce bouncing around some basketballs. Uh, both Apple and Norcus on Tethalon at the same time. Norcus using anchors to deal with the fight quickly. Anchors are usually good when you don't ha when you have an enemy at an inconvenient uh, place to use your shovel. And then using sickles there for applesauce to get through. We'll see what Mumu does through Iron Whale. Everybody's in Iron Whale now, although Norcus is about to hit the boss fight. You're getting some Judgment Rushes in. The Judgment Rush moves very quickly. Um... Has to be a little bit careful here. This room can be very scary in God Mode uh, that Applesauce is in right now. Because you just can't control it. Um, and you have to kind of do a lot of micro... Norcus using orbs there to um, get rid of Treasure Knight fairly quickly. And that is half the knights, actually, for Norcus already. Um, Applesauce... Dealing with Bertha. Bertha does not matter too much in this category. And now... Apple about to get to Treasure Knight. Norcus entering Lost City. Mumu at Teeth Wand. All of them doing fairly different things. Norcus, um, similar to uh, Apple, is going to be able to do uh, Beetle Skip fairly easily. See? I think he just clipped through a dirt block. <laughs> yes, and long rooms, great. Um, in this room, you kind of have... In these rooms like these, you have to kind of wait for um, stuff to break, so... You have to like, optimize where you break stuff to not have to wait as much. Uh, but Norcus now going to be flying through here. Mumu hitting the late parts of the fight against uh, of the Iron Whale, what I mean, while Norcus is hitting the end of Lost City, and Applesauce just bought the Rail Mail, uh, finally. So that's gonna be fun. Yes, the Rail Mail is actually good for God Mode. Um, it it just goes faster until you can't control yourself anymore. Um, there's a code that does make the rail very fast, a G and rail, while you're constantly railing. Here you still have control of when you're railing, um, but not of your speed. So that's good. Dork is going to go into Dream 2 here, um, while Applesauce just beat up Breeze. And is going to go into Flying Machine. Going to be the first one to do Flying Machine, so you get to kind of, you know... Dump on the stage a bit. Uh, that screen, though, is fairly tricky that Applesauce did. The second screen. And using a lot of Judgment Rush here just to try and not fall down onto previous screens is a pretty good strategy. Um, Norcus still waiting for Shield Knight at the top of the screen. Using that Warhorn, that Warhorn to buffer, or to kind of not buffer, but like keep Stall at the top of the screen. Stall's the word. Mumu going through Lost City. Pretty far in now. Using big booms wisely. Uh, Applesauce is about to hit Auto Scroller. That is in this stage. Having a little bit of trouble with the enemies that were actually killed there. So falls back down to the previous screen. Really, that's why uh, Flying Machine is still kind of one of the biggest uh, run killers in God Mode. If you kill a run in God Mode for some reason. Um, in terms of, like, losing time for Spectre. The other two characters don't really have it as bad, but if you're not careful, you'll still lose some time. Uh, but Spectre's Flying Machine is a really tricky god mode stage because you can kind of have it a bit uncontrollable. Fortunately, Judgment Rush can circumvent that, and I mentioned, uh, Apple's use of Judgment Rush earlier, but, 
Um, you, it's still something you gotta watch out for. Norcus into World Three into the stranded ship. Um, meanwhile, Mumu Akai just finishing now with World Two. So we're gonna get another health upgrade that will not matter before going into um, Three. Uh, Polar Knight now for Norcus. Orbs. <laughs> Once again, the AGDQ 2019 experience. Apple going into Propeller. Uh, Moo Moo entering Stranded Ship. Getting some really nice use out of Fleet Flask in this level. Um, a lot of the earlier screens have a lot of these straightaways. Even still, if you can control yourself, there's a lot of straightaway that the Fleet Flask can actually be advantageous on. I cannot. Oh my goodness. Orcus entering Clockwork Tower. Applesauce just destroyed um, Propeller. Let's see. Both of them moving through. Apple gonna be going next to Lichyard. That's just the next stage on the menu. Uh, now we're gonna do an auto scroller skip. Not too hard on God mode. Uh, Moo Moo just skipped a few screens by using the Vat at the bottom of the screen. The Vat is a great, great, great Arcana that lets you create a platform under you. And gonna start, gonna use the Fleet Flask to start the fight right next to, um, Polar, just to do things a little bit quicker. Apple making, like, Yard look easy. Norcus in an auto scroller. <laughs> I also don't know why the Blood Lantern is huge when you're Spectre, uh, but it is. Apple looked like he was going for something there to try and skip that bottom screen, but it does not work like that. All right, Apple now going to be entering the fight against the Phantom Striker. And Moo Moo has to deal with Black Knight 2. Norcus insta-KOing Tinker 1 with the gear. And now going to be heading into Tinker 2. Which uses the Anchor for a lot of its damage. I mentioned why Anchor is good for kind of awkward positions with the shovel. Moo Moo absolutely bodied Black Knight 2. Um, and is now going to go into... Clockwork, probably. It would make the most sense. Apple throwing these, I, I don't remember what they are, the boomerangs at Phantom Striker, just wanting to get hits in. Uh, Norcus about to enter uh, Flying Machine while Moo Moo enters Clockwork Tower. Immediately seeing some Staff of Surging, which is interesting here. And, of course, getting some Fleet Flasks in. Norcus. Propeller Dagger is useful. Apple into uh, Luan Dream 2, or Spectre Dream 2, or whatever you want to call this one. Uh, gonna have a boss fight here to do against Shield Knight, which is... Uh, in these Dream sections, you don't... Un uh, unfortunately, you don't get every... Curio that Spectre usually has, you only have call drops. Um, however, you do have infinite call drops. Um, and struggling a bit with this platforming. This is a really hard screen in God Mode, actually. Spectre has some really hard God Mode stuff. Um, Norcus in an auto scroller right now. Applesauce about to head into um, Shield Knight. <laughs> Throwing spikes. This is a kind of silly boss. Just kind of hoping that the spikes do what you want them to do. Um, and Apple is now done with that fight. 
Mumu is trying to kill the bitrate as much as possible in this auto-scroller. If you're mashing this button fast enough... Um, you can still, like, gain height while mashing like that. Um, Mumu now gonna be heading into the boss fight against, uh, Tinker. Has double damage over what, um, Norcus had because of the Plague, the Plague of Shadows, uh, nerf. Apple heading into Clockwork Tower now. It's gonna have more auto-scrollers than the other two to deal with in this stage, but again, Apple won't have to deal with the, uh, Tower 2 auto-scroller that, um, the other two will. Oh, Apple getting crushed by a little tiny thingy. Uh, Nork is finishing up Propeller Knight stage, and Mumu finishing up uh, Tinker Knight. So... That is very unfortunate for Apple, though. And Apple messed up killing that enemy, too, and now has to actually weigh the platform. Yeah, now Apple, Apple knows better now. Getting trolled by the chameleons here. Really wants to get through. Um, close to the first auto scroller, it's coming up on the next screen, so we don't have to worry about Apple for a second now. As Moo Moo flying through a uh, flying machine. Seems like he's actually the flying machine. Meanwhile, Norcus is going to be entering the tower, getting into late game. Shield Lantern getting some love from Apple. Norcus flying through the air here. Moo Moo. Using the bat. I don't know. What? <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Um, uh... Alright, now we have two people in an auto-scroller and one person in the cycle-based part. Uh, I don't know what Norcus is going to try and do here. Probably going to try and use Propeller Dagger to go right over here. And that's all the cycle waiting that Norcus needs to do. Because they can now just go through here. Apple is done with that auto-scroller. Getting that checkpoint. Trying to move downwards. There we go. Has Judgment Rush ready. There we go. Moo Moo through their auto scroller. Now Norcus at the end. Norcus just came up from the bottom of the screen. And I. Okay. Norcus now heading into Black Knight uh, 3, I guess. This is technically 2 for Shovel of Hope, I think. I think there's a third. I don't know how Black Knight works in Shovel of Hope, but it's the last one. And, uh. Gears. Why gears? I don't know why. It, okay, I guess this works. Oh, they do more damage. That makes sense. I see orb a lot there. So you thought Apple's gear strat for Black Knight at Tower was cool? That one was too. Moo Moo finishing up the last order, uh, getting the last essence by killing Propeller Knight. Meanwhile, Norcus is going to be entering uh, Tower Two. So has an auto scroller and a boss rush. Meanwhile, Apple does not have either of those as he finishes the second boss rush in or the second auto scroller in Clockwork Tower and is now going to be going into uh, Tinker. Norcus going to be flying through Tower Two here, struggling a little bit there. Is doing fine now. Apple getting those basketballs to good use. Moo Moo about to enter the tower. Norcus now in the tower to auto scroller. Apple still has two more stages to deal with. Uh, before getting into tower. So we'll see how he does them. 
At least I think it's two more. Yeah, it should be Stranded Ship and Pride More Keep. Pride More first, okay. Moo Moo going through Tower One, making it to the cru uh, the cycle crusher, the crusher, the crusher cycle room, breaking the checkpoint because you have the time. Um, Norcus nearing the end of this auto scroller here. The blocks half at least. You can get crushed in auto scrollers in God mode, so you actually don't want to. Uh, so these are the scariest screens really for shovel and play God mode. They're fine if you have something to do, like collect Cypher Coins, but if you don't, um, then you should probably do a category in God of God Mode where you collect Cypher Coins. That's just me speaking, though. Uh, something funny about uh, the Spectre of Torment uh, Pride Mort is that it has a lot of spikes and pits that you're intended to kind of do precise things over. Apple does not care. Apple's just going to be flying through, flying over everything, getting some judgment rushes in to save small amounts of time. The really fast charge means that you can just kind of use it to your advantage without sacrificing anything, which is pretty good. Bonking! <laughs> um, Norcus entering the boss fight, or the boss rush. I think already killed Propeller. I didn't even notice. Mumu just finished up uh, Black Knight 3. And Norcus just finished up Spectre, so six more bosses. Gonna get Polar, of course, because it has to be one of the first three. Apple getting into the King fight, throwing out a Sentry, and getting those... Jeez, Louise. Are those things called Spider Sights? I don't remember. Alright, and Orbs against Treasure. And Applesauce is going to get this cutscene here. So now Applesauce is one more stage before the tower stuff has to do uh, Stranded Ship. Uh, Norcus has two more bosses in the boss rush, but one of them is that double phase fight. Getting out the coin for Plague Knight. Very well done, fought. Uh, Moo Moo now into the Tower 2 auto-scroller just as Norcus enters their last boss fight. Moo Moo hates the bitrate, by the way. Alright, there we go. That is boss rush for Norcus. Norcus is actually on a really good run. Um, applesauce. Not one cycling this bird. There we go. Uh, now moving into the second half of Stranded Ship, which has a lot of stuff going on, so it needs to be careful to do the right stuff with the switches. Uh, Norcus entering tower. Using the fishing rod! To break the blocks, let's go. That's the good strats there. The fishing rod is actually useful in very few places, like you saw at the beginning. You can use it here, because, you know, you don't have anything to do. Fish into the lava. Dig up a lava fish. Dig up another lava fish. Alright, gonna get ready to leave here. So yeah, now Moo Moo's gonna head into their boss rush. Apple... Uh, still working through the end of Stranded Ship. You can't rail on the bottom of the screen, actually. That's something I should have mentioned sooner, is that if you want to rail with Spectre, you actually have to be on something. Uh, if you're just on the bottom of the screen because you can't die due to, due to death hit, um, then... You're not railing, so it's not faster than railing. Uh, Norcus about to enter the final phase of the final fight on really good... I've actually, like, never seen a shovel god run this good, but Norcus just kind of blew us out of the water here. Um, gonna just spam the Warhorn for a little while. You can lock on the top of the screen, which is what makes it so good. And that's not time, that's time. 
Interesting. Maybe. Oh, I think wanted to get the final hit with the. <laughs> <laughs> well, GG Norcus. Uh, for the victory here in this race, Apple now entering Tower One, as uh. Moomoo just has two bosses left in that boss rush before Tower 3. And that's fairly interesting, because I actually thought that, um, as Spectre... I, th I actually thought that Spectre would have the quickest of the three categories, but Apple still had a really good run, so maybe that's not for it. Has the quickest any percent, I know, but I was I thought it was a quicker for this run. Has Cycle Crushers now. A lot of the Polar Knight switches, so has to be really careful here. Oh my goodness, yeah. Slippery, that's what God Mode is. You have to kind of stop your speed and to start it somewhere else, so if you're not jumping around a lot, it's slippery. And that can be hard to control. Moomoo's about to leave the boss rush, not saving the knights. Oh wait, Moomoo can't save the knights. Moomoo's played. Trouble Knight's not saving the knights, though, and that's the sin. Applesauce has Bertha once again, and Invisible Walls. Very nice uh, air slash there. Mumu entering Tower. So, oh, I forgot Tower 1 had an auto-scroller inspector. So that does give Apple something to sit through while Mumu kills the bit rate for too many times. All right, now Mumu about to enter Enchantress. Uh, Apple just waiting for the auto scroller to end. It's the ending right there. All right. There we go. Apple falling in the pit. Ro railing on rails is not very good. Oh, okay. That was apparently a PB for Norcus, so. That's GG's. Um, Mumu has two more phases of this final fight to do. Um, Apple using the Kronos coin for uh, Black Knight 2 here to get a lot of basketballs on screen. Oh my goodness. Okay. What is happening? Doesn't seem to be hitting too much. Trying to use some judgment rushes there to get two damage in. Very nice. Uh, kills Black Knight, Mumu done with the Plague of Shadows, so now just has to fight, um, the Corrupted Essence, which is pretty simple, fight in God Mode. Uh, Apple's gonna be entering Tower 3 now. And that's GG's for Mumu. Uh, very nice kill there. 31-38 is pretty good. Apple up on that elevator right now. Using the hover plume there, just to make stuff move up faster. No, yeah, there you go. Uh, so now I'm going to be entering Enchantress, grabbing the checkpoint for good measure. So yeah, using the coin, getting the skeleton out, and now just going to throw everything possible. <laughs> he was so ready for the dive. Alright, now just has Nightmare Reads to go. So we'll see what has to be done here. Immediately has the Kronos coin ready. I don't know what he's gonna go for. This is a weird fight. Get in the basketballs! <laughs> Just the sheer number of basketballs bouncing all over the screen can help with getting a decent amount of hits on. Um, also using the spider scythe there. Using the dread talon. Get some hits in. Only has two more hits to get. And that's time.
So now that's everybody. So GG's Applesauce. Congratulations to Norcus. That was a really good run from all three. And, uh, so yeah, that was pretty good. And the schedule says that next is Vector Hundo.